Absolutely. We'd like to hear the best year of your life as well. I'll come on this side of you, Crafty Chica. <laughs> if you're like many of us, you look at some fashions and you think, well, I can make that. Well, look at this right here. High fashion. It is what they call the look of ombre, an ombre design. And if you know and love the Crafty Chica like we all do, you know, Crafty Chica's going to go, no, you can make that. You can do it yourself. Hi, Chica. Yes. Hello. Thanks for having me. No, it's <laughs> our our pleasure. And here's what I love. Let's take a look at Maya in her purple top again. And tell me, this is this is a top that she had. Yes, it was a white blouse. It had that really pretty kind of embroidery in the front. And she wanted to do something just to add a pop of color to it. Mm -hmm. And we were like, well, let's ombre dye it. So last night in our studio, that's what <laughs> she did. And what I love about this blouse is that the thread is actually polyester. So it didn't take the dye, which means that it, you can see the beautiful design of it. You mean the applique part of it yes. up front. Uh -huh. The rest of it is like a cotton, yes. right? But the applique itself didn't take it, which I think is amazing. Yes, and that's something to look for. Like I suggest practicing your ombre technique on a t-shirt, basic okay. t-shirt. You can get any light colored shirt from your closet or you could buy one at the craft store. Once you master the technique, then you can look at clothing a different way when you go into the department store. And if you see a really cool blouse, it's okay if it has a pattern on it. Yes. Like if it's a black and white pattern, beautiful, oh. make sure it's cotton or rayon. Then you could add like a cool ombre effect of teal or hot pink or purple. Well, let's get to ombre-ing, okay. shall we? So I am using this one-step dye, the Tulip one-step dye. What I love is that everything's in there that you need, the soda ash, the dye, the powder. You just fill it up with water mm -hmm. and you're going to shake it. Okay, so so when you get it, it looks like this right yes. here, and it has everything, and all you have to do is add water. You just fill it to the line, it says right there, Okay. and then you're going to need, this is the secret tip here, is you need a brush like this, and you can get this at the um, home improvement store sure. and a bowl of water. Does it matter what kind of bristles? Because you know they have those kind that are like just the, something the fakey. Soft. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Soft. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a little bit of a uh, water here in this nice. It's 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 the width and the short flat yes. part that you like yes. about it, and right? And what we're going to do is is just drag the dye up through the shirt. Okay. So the first so, step. So you've got this t-shirt and you've already got it all soaking wet. Yes. I make it nice and I wet it. Really, really heavily. Super good tip too. You want to put some plastic. Yes, in always. Any time you're doing working, it on the concrete yes. outside with a nice T-shirt print on the concrete. <laughs> Any time you work with tie dye, always use like a, a trash bag or a plastic table okay. cover. Okay, I'm gonna stand back because I don't want dye. Okay, on so I'm just gonna put the darkest layer of dye right here. Oh, this is a pretty color too. Is it? Is it's it blue teal. Or teal? It's oh my teal. goodness, it's yummy. So here we have our first layer, and you're going to dip your brush in the water, and you're going to drag the color up like this. Make sure to wear the gloves that come in the dye box, mm -hmm. because you will get it on your hands. And like sometimes like this stuff, you know, kind of cool. If you like it, well, let it go. Well, the beauty of using this brush is you just dip it in the water, and the idea is that the more you brush it, the more it blends together and you won't see any lines at all. Oh, and well, it's all eventually going to soak in anyway right. because it's wet. I get it now. Okay. So we're just going to keep pulling this up like this all the way up to the top and Does, eventually it just gets lighter. Now, this particular product that you're using, now once you, you do this, this is a permanent dye, right? Yes. This isn't going to come out in the wash. Right. Do you, do you have to pre-wash it first? With, with Well, it helps. For a brand new blouse, I would pre-wash it to take out any sizing. Okay. And then from there, you can use a spray bottle to dampen it, or you could wash it under the sink and wring it, you know, just so it's nice and damp and it will take the dye well. Okay. And that really helps a lot. So once we have this all covered, and you, like here, I would actually add more of the dye. You would? Okay, yes. Because, because you really want it to be darker, yes, darker at the I, bottom. It, even, you can even put a layer, some people I've seen put a layer of black right here, oh. just to really give it that definition. Does ombre mean just one color? 
it, yes, it's actually a graduation of color. Okay, but so, one color. So, yes. Because if you started mixing colors with you this. You can. You actually can. I've seen where you can do teal on one side and then build up lighter and go into a lighter pink. Uh huh. And it's all with using this brush and water. Gosh. That's what makes it work really, really well. Now, if you have stuff like this, if you take, take, check this out, this is like a little simple shirt that you can buy that has a different, like it's a colored shirt. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to be white. Um, but this is that polyester stuff that she was talking about earlier that's not going to take the dye. Right. So, so experiment with colors. And I want to mention, too, that um, Crafty Chica, we do have all of the instructions. You were so sweet to write them out. Posted them on our website, SonoranLiving.com, and there's a link to Chica's website, and um, she's got some great videos on all different types of techniques on how you can learn how and, to and do this And the last technique. tip for this is yes. you want to put it on a hanger and put a, your trash bag out underneath and hang it so that all the dye drips down to the bottom. Ah. Because normally with tie dye, you know, we wrap it up and we leave it, yes. we let it set for six hours and rinse it out. Right. For the ombre look, you don't want to get those lines or the fold lines, so you're going to hang it. Okay. And that way the dye will just naturally drip down and let it set for six hours, rinse it out in cold water, wash it through your washing machine, and you're set to go. And wear it proudly. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to say. <laughs> Kathy, Crafty Chica, thank you so much. Great thank tips. You.